morning. My hair looks so crazy. You know what's crazy? After I had a baby, I'll wash my hair and my hair gets greasy after a day. I, it's probably because my roots are really long right now too. It doesn't help, but anyways, we are getting ready to go camping for the first time in a really long time. I think it's only the second camping trip we've ever taken the motor out on, motorhome out on since I bought it, um, which I think I bought it now like two years ago, year and a half ago. Um, so I'm about to get everything ready to pack up to the motorhome, feed the dogs, gotta feed my animals, my other animals that aren't dogs. <laughs> um, we're so bummed because it has been raining nonstop. These two are so freaking cute. It's been raining nonstop, check this out, um, in San Diego for like where we live for like the past five days, which is unheard of in San Diego pretty much, except a couple years ago it did that for like two weeks and the amount of rain was insane. So anyways, the point is all of our piles of oak firewood are completely wet, which sucks, but look how wet it is out here. Great for our plants though. So no shame, but we've got Harlow, she, our, this area, oh my gosh, right now is so messy. We've got super simple songs going. If you need your child to be entertained for an hour while you're doing something, this, this is gonna do it. I'm almost positive. Um, don't usually do this, but I, no shame, honestly. Like when you gotta get stuff done, you have no one else to watch them, it works. So the motorhome's actually dead right now. Um, I need to talk to my dad about how we can prevent our motorhome from dying. I feel like every time between starts, even though we start it periodically, and I don't mean we, but like Nick does that. He's great at it. He always remembers, but we go down there and it's dead. So I think I need to ask my dad. I've camped since I was like a little kid. My dad has a motorhome. Um, and ask him how to prevent that from happening so much. Um, also, I wanted to show you guys this. So there's this list, shared list thing, where you can share like a grocery list and it organizes it from like dairy, produce, whatever. But I use it for like camping too and I share it with Nick so that we both have the same list that updates like in real time. I'll show it to you guys because it's awesome. So yeah, so you can like cross items off and I have a bunch of different lists. Um, like this is the camping list and it's shared with Nick. So we have everything there. And then if you hit one of these, it scratches it off. And then if you want to see the ones that you've scratched off, you can hit this little eye thing. Anyways, oops, I haven't seen him. There's a guy working on our house today on some stuff. Um, this is the app right here. It's called any list. We are packing up the motorhome. Harlow does not want to go down for a nap. So we've got a jam-packed driveway right now. I'm trying to get all ready to go. And of course, the rain is making it a little more difficult. <laughs> um, there's been a resident mouse or 10 living in here. There's like mouse droppings on everything. I need to like in all the drawers, like it's disgusting. Like I need to clean everything out super well. Um, yeah, I need to get in here and organize everything, like our cupboards and stuff. Like I thought I was gonna do this before our next camping trip, but I did not. We're just trying to get everything ready to go. It's a little difficult because Harlow is not, not napping. Oh my gosh, look. Look at little baby Harlow. Last time we went camping, I was pregnant. Aw. We are off. I've got Rocket and the baby. Nick's behind us driving the motor home. We are driving two separate cars because uh, we want to be able to go out in the Raptor since we don't have any desert toys yet. Um, on his goals for 2022, he wants to get a dirt bike. So, and I really would like to get a quad. So yeah, that's kind of on our list. Um, but yeah, we're heading out. We're going to stop by the grocery store real quick and then we're going to Ocotillo Wells. So it's not actually that far. It should only be like an hour and a half or two hours or something like that. It's not like where the river is like four hours, four and a half if you're in a motorhome. So we're leaving the rain behind. It sounds like it's supposed to rain at the um, desert tonight too, but I'm getting on the main road. So I'm gonna get off here and I'll update you guys later. Bye.
Harlow's starting to lose it. We are, we just pulled into Ocotillo Wells, so I'll show ya. The sun is setting, so we kind of got here just in time before um, the sun sets, so we can get all set up. Uh, Nick's in front of me still. Gosh, I wish I had a quad so I could go over all this whoops and just like get out here. Like I have not been on a quad in so long. Funny story, last time I was in Ocotillo Wells, which was a very long time ago, I think I was probably like 14, I found a like almost see-through leopard gecko under a rock out here and it hissed at me and tried to bite me. And of course, me, loving animals, I tried to pick it up. I didn't know any better when I was younger, but now I would never do that. So I just put the rock back and left him alone. But um, yeah, I'd never seen a gecko in the wild before. Nice bike. <laughs> that fits you really you well. Kid for it back in town, straight up. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's um, one of the firemen Nick works with. It's so funny. I think that's his kids. <laughs> he's like six. He's like six four. Baby's back here playing. I'm eating a pickle. I'm about to make some soup in the Instant Pot, which is in here. Gotta get that out. Mmm. So big in here when the slides are out. I guess Nick stopped, bought some tequila. <laughs> Good morning, it is 8.05 and we are all wide awake. Nick made me an espresso. We got Harlow playing in her little pack and play. I think we need to put this in the living room now or get something similar because she's kind of rolling all over the place now. Nick is cleaning up. Look, when I did sleep, I slept great. <laughs> it was good. In this little cube. It's like a little pod. He loves this. He's like, we should build something over our bed that's like a little den. You feel like you're in prison. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah. We Harlow didn't wake up till three randomly. We gave her a bottle. Um, Nick gave her a bottle, and couldn't really go back to sleep. But yeah, it was kind of awkward shuffling her around because she was like back here when we came in because we were out there still eating dinner when she went to bed, and then when we came in, we shuffled her out there. And unfortunately. I did a video recently about like my baby like dislikes and loves and one of the things that was like this was kind of pointless and overpriced was that stupid blackout tent but I wish we would have brought it with us here because the skylight was right over her pack and play and it just like woke her right up um but we got little our little rocket man over here rocket he's man. little bandana Hi. he's doing pretty good with Nick Nick is standing up and just pet him. So I don't think I ever really told you guys about the story of Rocket, but um, he, in his second home, they don't know anything about his first home, he was abused by a man. <clears throat> and so he's super afraid of men, um, but actually he's doing really good. Cancel all men. <laughs> so the plan today, um, one of uh, Nick's friends, they call him Hensley, in the fire department, everyone's known by their last name or their nickname. Um, he brought a bunch of quads and different things. So Cliston. We'll call him Cliston. Cliston. His first name is Cliston. Have you guys ever heard of a name like that? Cliston? He stayed with us a week in Nashville with his wife, and um, we definitely made fun of him a little bit in a nice, loving way. Yeah, in a nice, loving way. <laughs> I have just never heard of a name like Cliston. Well, there's two Clistons here. Cliston Senior and Cliston Junior. They didn't name him Cliston. <laughs> they didn't name Clist Sawyer Cliston. No. Cliston's oh, his dad's, dad's name is Cliston name too. Is Cliston, yeah. Oh, that's how he ended up with it then. Oh. Cliston. Yeah, I've never heard of a name like that. It's like Kristen, but Cliston. <laughs> Interesting. Anyways, for breakfast, we've got a Go Macro Bar. Um, I don't know exactly how much water Nick put in this thing, so I'm not sure. If I want to make myself breakfast, I kind of want eggs and stuff, <laughs> but um, I could just do an over medium egg. I have brought bagels, 
Um, we're trying to ripen up some avocados too. So anyways, the plan today is he's going to ride some of, um, Kliston's stuff and I might actually get on there too. Um, one of the quads or something. We'll see. Just, uh, have fun. That's on the agenda for today. It's the name of the game. I wanted to show you guys what we made for dinner last night, but my camera was buried back here. What did I make? The most delicious corn chowder I've ever had. Um, yeah, so I made corn chowder in the Instant Pot, and the prep time said 10 minutes, which was very deceiving because it was way longer than 10 minutes. Um, maybe it's because I was trying to do it in a small space in the motorhome with, like, crappy tools, but anyways, um, it was really good. Uh, we added way more cheddar than it needed, but I'll leave the recipe in the description box for you guys because it was... Um... <laughs> we got our little rug out. I got this from World Market. Here's our little camp. I guess we got a theme of little guy or big guys on little bikes. Your hair, like I said before, kind of looks like a smaller version and shorter version of Ace Ventura in the mental institution. How was your cereal? Want to come inside? Magnificent. No, I was going to bring the chairs over here so I could sit down. Oh, that's a good idea. If this will stop being blown out, which doesn't seem like, oh, there it goes. That's our fire over here. So. I think a few more people are joining us today. They're working on their bikes. And we finally got our little thing set up over here. I'm not sure what's going on over here. Movie screen, maybe? Then we've got, Nick just built this fire. He's a Dura Flame, so we totally cheated. When I was younger, I did kindling and made a fire all myself. Little Hardo! She's like mesmerized by the flame. Look at this cute little outfit she's got on though. Look at these little things. Her feet don't fit in here super well, but. Did she laugh at me <laughs> She's just staring. <laughs> the moon tonight, I don't know if you can tell, but it looks amazing. It's like full. Nick took this out today. Had a lot of fun on that. Did you have fun today? No, it's lame. <laughs> Harlow had fun, huh? Oh, Harlow! Like, Who's that? You got a new friend! Yeah, she loves her. Uh, about to go on a ride. Nick doesn't have a bike yet, so looking good. Bye. Is that the size bike that you need? Uh, kind of too much power for me. Put on my neon outfit in case I get lost out there. Nick and I are gonna go take the Raptor and cruise around off-road a little bit. Obviously mellow since Harlow will be with us. Um, we're gonna go to Lazy Lizard in um, Ocotillo City I think and we're gonna leave the pups here. Um, so we'll be back in a while. Let's go! Hello, Kersha! <laughs> We're off roading. We're going very slow right now, but. I'm almost driving through the desert. Somebody thought they would just take a little map. <laughs> yeah. So dark now you can't really see very well but the sky looks amazing we're at the very top of this hill this drops off down here the sky looks amazing maybe I can fix the exposure so you can see Harlow fell asleep again so she's in the Raptor here we go this setting on the camera 
The sky doesn't look quite as cool, but you can see a bit more. So Harlow's sleeping in the truck. We just took a picture of my tripod, and this just drops off down there. Apparently this is called Devil's Slide. Oh, the bugs are serious up here though. And then you downshift, and you just use that to pop your way. Don't be a baby, baby hollow. Are you being a baby, baby hollow? You can sit up. You're gonna cry at me. You got this? Good job! Look at you! You did it! Good job! Good job, pretty girl! Uh. <clears throat> wow. I haven't heard this song in so long. Okay, so. It's our last morning here. We're leaving this morning. Um, um, I, who is this? Pam Tillis? I don't even know who this is. Um, I, we are basically, let me lower this so YouTube doesn't flag this, even though I really don't want you. This song is so great. Um, so last night was a little rough. Little one woke up around like 3 a.m. and just like did not want to go back to sleep, did not want a bottle. She just sat there and like cried. And then dad brought her up to the bed. And then she continued crying and being a little butt munch, but like less so when we had her. And then, um, it does. <laughs> um, and so yeah, last night was a little rough. Um, this morning, I think we're just trying to like eat a break eat breakfast and then um we'll leave we also want to show these people how to play these people we met some new people here we want to teach them how to play that's what she said it's a game that we got introduced to over thanksgiving and it's so good Ew, you got spit up on your chain necklace gross let's get rid of this um so yeah the plan is good morning pipes good morning portugal good morning portugal good morning rocket um, yeah, we're just going to make some breakfast and then take it easy and then head home in a little while and do all our dishes when we get home, I think. What did you think about your first camping trip? You liked it? Was it good? You had a good time? <laughs> Boop. What a good girl! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! The amount of spit up and dog hair! Ew! Ew! That's gross! Hi, baby girl! You ready to go home? Let's go home! Everybody packed up out here. We are ready to go. Um, it's about only like two hours home, so it won't be too bad of a trip. What do you think of our? Second. It was super awesome. Trip out. Great people. Yeah. These are our trips right here that we've been on so far with our motorhome. So we put this one in here. Puppies! Time to come inside! Hello! Hello, pretty! You ready to go home? You ready to go home? She just shook her head yes, or uh, nodded her head yes. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna leave one garbage can in here just in case we need it. Okay, I won't be in here. I'm driving separately, yeah, but. Just... All right, well, I guess we gotta pull in the slides. So it's about to get real small in here, real small. We just got home. This is the best way to bring things inside the house. <laughs> There's so much crap, dude. Oh, unloading motorhomes, unloading them is like one of my whole man down, man overboard. Oh my gosh. That was almost one of the best showers of my life. <laughs> we didn't bring enough water in the motorhome for whatever reason, <laughs> camping, so we didn't take any showers and I was planning on taking a shower every day. So like, I feel that was a really good weekend. I feel like I really needed to get work done, but it was also nice to just like let loose and enjoy ourselves. And I'm gonna make like a permanent kind of like checklist and um, laminate it for next time so that it's like easier to pack and put, I made a list of stuff that like I need to buy to keep in the motorhome too. 
to make it just like a little bit easier. But how was it camping with a seven month old, you ask? It was definitely more challenging in a lot of ways. I had to pack for a little person. I had to pack for all of her needs, um, weather wise, food wise, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, sleeping wise, just all of that. And so it was a lot more exciting in a lot of ways because I was excited to share it with her and watch her experience it. But it was also, you know, it also is um, mentally more challenging and stuff because you have um, a seven month old that can't crawl or walk that you have to basically entertain. The outside playpen was a must. I was thinking, oh, I could just use like the pack and play, but pulling that in and out of the RV every single day would have been such a pain in the butt. So I'm so glad we had something extra. We just left it, sit. we just like left it set up outside and use that every day. Um, I don't think I would ever do that solo, like without Nick or a friend there to help me with Harlow, uh, but it was great. And it was her first camping trip. So that was pretty exciting. Um, so yeah, overall we had a great time, 10 out of 10, would do it again. We actually have a couple more camping trips this month planned. So I'm so glad we just cleaned up the entire RV. Like I, like we scrubbed everything, like everything's super in good shape and super, super good shape. Uh, we're going to Leo Carrillo later this month, which is up in Malibu. Um, so that'll be fun, but holy shit, I feel so good after that shower. I'm gonna go drink a giant glass of water since I didn't drink a lot of water this weekend. And thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, Look at these two. As an adult, she says that went on a church We're all, they stink. They need a shower after camping. Mm-hmm. What did you, you have fun camping? I did, I had a blast. Yeah. I didn't get to show it too. I smell way better now. Yeah. Mm, fresh to death, dog. Show everybody what's on your face that's leaving tomorrow. Everything clicked. Everything was perfect. All I ever wanted was to get married. And me arms up.